Hey guys, do you like dividends? Do you like reinvesting your dividends? Do you like seeing that fat dividend check in your account every single month over and over and over? Reinvest in dividends. My name is Dividend Rick. This is my channel. All I do is go through and show you how to invest in dividends, dividend stock, collecting that fat check, reinvesting for the future. Follow along. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, guys, and a thumbs up. Thank you very much. Here we go. Let's get into this. All right, guys. Every week I invest uh, $500. This week I got $1,000. I'm going to put that into the market. I'm going to show y'all here on this page what I'm buying this week and why I'm buying it. So let's start up here at the top. Now let's start up here at the bottom. Waste management. So right here on waste management, I got 12.25 shares. Share price $186. But um, every year, I only get up $34.31 right here. I want this uh, estimated year yearly income of dividends to pay me enough to get at least one free share so I can get that compounding growth year after year. So today, we're going to get waste management. We're going to get Lowe's. And we're also going to get SCHD, which is down here. And I'm thinking about also getting some uh, VOO. That's the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF. So let's go up here to the top. Let's go, let's click on Waste Management. Let's scroll down. Currently they're at $186.09. Let's go down here to their dividends. So they got a 1.51% dividend, which really isn't that great, but it's a pretty good company and it's going to continue to reinvest over and over for long-term growth. So I'm going to scroll up here and I'm going to say buy. We're going to buy one share and it's going to be market because we're dollar cost averaging into the market. We're going to review it. And we're going to place the order. It's going to cost us $186.78. Place the order. All right, let's go back. Go back to the other one. What was we going to buy? We're going to buy some Lowe's. So I'll get $31.31 per year from Lowe's, but the share price is $215. So over the course of this year, next year, I need to, I need to pick up my quantity a lot from my Lowe's. Well, let's go and click on Lowe's and see what uh, what it's about. Lowe's pulled up $215.25. Let's go to their dividend. Let's go to their, go to their one year chart real quick. So it's been down, up, down, going back up. What was the low point? $190, $187. Let's go down here. Dividends at 2.08% dividend. So on that dividend, is 2%, you're gonna need at least 50 shares of stock to make sure that you have at least one free share every year based off your dividends. If this annual dividend yield is like a 33 or a 3%, you would need at least 33, 34 shares of stock to get a free share every year based off dividends. If it's a 4% annual dividend yield, you would need 25 shares right here, or 25 shares of this 4%. So you can continue compounding growth over and over. But today I'm just going to buy one share of Lowe's. Buy one share, market, dollar cost average into the market, whatever it is today I'm buying it. Review, place order. All right, let's go back. Boom. Let's look at SCHD. Oh, let's go to ABBV. I wanted to pick up one of those also that down on my paper so i'm only getting 93 dollars a year off of abbv we'll just it's a 165 164 dollars for a share uh share price of it so i need more of that so let's click on there let's buy one of those let's go to their dividend let's check out what their dividend is so it's 3.78 percent so i'd probably need in between i'd probably need like 30 of these shares to get a free um one free share per year so we're gonna buy that 164 dollars market i have multiple things going on here why is my computer doing that desktop audio 
Review. Place order. All right, wonderful, wonderful. Let's see what else we can do here. So that every time I buy one share, it's going to give me a little bit more dividend, a little bit more dividend every single time. What else we want to buy? We want to buy some AC, a, SCHD. I get $62 a month. Oh, no, I want to buy VOO. VOO, I get $242 a year. Share price is $450. We got to pick those up. We got to pick that up. I need more of that. Dividend on VOO is down here somewhere 1.43% or distribution yield 1.46. So let's buy one of these and we will dollar cost average into the SP 500. Limit market review $450. Place order. Perfect. All right, let's go back again. See what else we need to buy. What do we need to buy? Oh, how much more money do I got? Probably not too much more. I think I'll probably spent all my money for this week. But next week, I want to buy some VTI, some VG. I only have a few shares of those. So next week, I'm going to buy. So what I want to do every week is, or yeah, with my $500 I get every week, Buy more shares of stock that's going to have uh, growth on it, right? Dividends and growth. I want to make sure that I get at least one. I want one minimum repurchase of a share based off my dividends per year. So uh, the earlier you get started, earlier you get into the market, more shares you're going to get compounding over and over and over. And it's going to be long-term growth. So people think that if you get... 3% dividend that that share that you're only getting 3% compounding growth. Wait, that dividend is going to buy more shares. Now you have more shares and those shares also pay dividends and it's just compounding over and over and over. The younger you are when you get into the market, the more possibility you are of having financial freedom when you're 55, 60 years old, right? And you don't have to put $500 a week like I do. If you're in your 20s, $50 a week, that's great. It's maybe $25 a week. In your 30s, $50, $100 a week. In your 40s, you need to put more probably. Um, just keep buying it over and over and over. And uh, don't if you don't need to pull money out of this account, just let it grow. If you need some side hustle money, go drive for Uber or something like that. Don't pull money out of this account. You have to pay taxes on it, which you already have to pay taxes on it anyways. Long-term capital gains tax. Um, I'm not a CPA, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just talking about what I do as an individual for my long-term financial health. So let's click back over here to this other screen. and show you what I got in January. Let me transition this. Let me show you what I got in January. So January, I picked up uh, $82.74 in dividends. I'm reinvesting those dividends. So February, I'm going to get $113 in dividends reinvested. March, $290 in dividends reinvested. This April, $81.96. May, $115. June, $290. So it's just a continuation. Oh, every quarter is going to be the same. I need to pick up some more uh, stocks that have payout in uh, April and May. So it'll be a little bit higher like June. So keep investing those dividends, grow it and grow it and grow it. Don't let anybody talk you out of doing it. Don't let those negative Nancys uh, persuade you to do something silly, guys. And make sure you hit that subscribe button right down here at the bottom, right there somewhere. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, guys. We sure do appreciate y'all. I think I'm going to make another video later this week if you want to watch it. Uh, so I'm about, I'm about, probably got another five hundred dollars to put in, and uh, hopefully you got something out of this. Hopefully you subscribe to me, give me a thumbs up. We sure do appreciate it, guys. Y'all have a good day.